Hello my wonderful people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on your time zone or anytime you are coming across my platform. If you like what you are watching, kindly subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notifications and that way you'll be able to know when we upload a new video. Here we are to all forms of videos. I want to appreciate YouTube for creating this wonderful platform for us to use to disseminate information to the members of the public. I at the same time put disclaimer that linda's tv show do not and will not in any way promote hate speech misleading information or violence we are only here to educate the members of the public my dear wonderful party and even you know drenched and no opportunity or chance that they will come out of that poverty politicians in nigeria and maybe so many other parts of africa they have been taking the people for granted for so long so long enough that they have seen whatever they do, if they manage to do anything that is pro people, it is considered a privilege. They are now, I mean, they are seeing the people more or less like they are slaves, people that are stupid, who don't even understand what they want, except whatever the ruling class says they want. They plunged the generations into perpetual poverty. They plunged even your generations yet unborn into the perpetuity of indebtedness. They are going to be born in poverty. Majority of us who are like alive now, if these guys continue, we will die in poverty. And guess what? There are more like a three to four generations after us. They will be born into poverty. They will die in poverty because of the greed of this few. The demand of uh, the protesters in Nigeria, which has been mostly peaceful, except when the Nigerian police, Nigerian military, unleash violence on these peaceful protesters. In areas where the number is not really that massive, the police have been relatively peaceful with them, believing that they could punk, I mean, pump on them uh, any time they are given the order. So last night, Tifnumbu tested his supposed presidential power. He has none. Except for the uh, criminals, including the institutions, he's managed to bribe. He has compromised all the institutions in Nigeria to the point that the judiciary is working against the people. The police is working against the people. The military is working against the people. The politicians are working against the people. Every institution that could have even performed uh, checks and balances, like the National Assembly, they are all there, all together. Then you also see other bigger bodies that could have also used their influence if they team together to challenge these guys, the religious body. They too, they are working against the people. So it's pretty much like the people against the institutions. The institution of oppression, suppression, corruption. The one that they have actually make you to normalize. It's okay. And that is why after plunging Nigeria into economic ruin, they, had, they started sharing rice you know, sharing money. They don't even have a clue of how to get you out of this mess. Some are even telling you to go and pray. Some of them are telling you to go and seek forgiveness from Allah. On top economic ruin that you are watching them plunder your common wealth, your own common patrimony. They are wasting this money. If there is no money that you have to suffer, how come they have to like uh, live lavishly? That's a question that they will tell you. It's only when they live better, when they live lavishly that they can do their job. But yet, even when they live lavishly, they still have nothing left to care for you. So they blackmailed you. They threatened you. And their usual line is this. We are just going to waste you and nothing is going to happen. Because they have done it many times. They will release their military on you. Their police on you. Their DSS on you. They will harass you. Assault you. Intimidate you. You know, in fact, kills you. And nothing will happen to them. They will say they are defending the integrity of Nigeria. But have you not noticed? This is the Nigeria that is now controlled. Half of it controlled by uh, terrorists. In Nigeria, these criminals, they told you, this is also part of the problem. Oh. Nigeria has been suffering from terrorism sponsored by political class for power. Now they use these terrorists. They have no plan for them. Then the terrorists, you know, uh, face the people, unleash terror on the people. Instead of these criminals who harmed these terrorists against their country and the people, instead of them to clamp down on these terrorists, they said they were repentant terrorists, Baba. 
Repentant terrorists is a, the only repentant terrorist is a dead terrorist. But in Nigeria, they said these terrorists that killed tens of thousands of people, destroyed the livelihood of many, and displaced tens of millions of Nigerians from their homes. They said they swore by Holy Quran. Because they swore by Holy Quran that they won't go back to terrorism. Nigeria then opened a system of rehabilitation. Then they turned terrorism into an industry in Nigeria. The same ruling class. Now, the same ruling class is telling you that it is because of your sin. That is why you are hungry. They, it is not because the terrorists, they, they, they are repentant terrorists, are destroying your farms, still kidnapping you, killing your farmers, telling you to leave your farm and leave your land. They are seeing all of that. But they are telling you something else. Those who destroyed Nigeria under Boko Hari, they are enjoying their loot as we speak. Don't forget that. So you are the only one to bear the blame. And if you refuse, if you refuse, then they automatically say you want to destroy Nigeria. So they have the right to destroy Nigeria and destroy lives, destroy families, destroy businesses, destroy your safety. You are watching all of that. But they are accusing you of, oh, because you are vandalizing this, or because you are breaking that, yeah. Because you are looting, a, what do you call it, because you are stealing a bag of uh, food. Oh, look, they have destroyed Nigeria. We need to come out and clamp down on you. I am not saying that you should join those who are looting. I'm just saying. Looters of Nigeria, they are angry that you are looting what? You are looting shops. Even the people that they are looting from, Again, no, I'm not encouraging you to go and loot any shop. So I'd rather that you kind of group yourself as you have been doing and go after any people who want anyone who wants to hijack your protest because it is legitimate and valid. Even though most of them are sponsored, those ones they are, they are sponsoring, they are the hungry ones, right? Just the same as you. You choose to go out there and ask them to do something about it. Until they do something about it, you are not leaving the street. The same hungry people in, your, in that same population they had to mobilize them to go and loot the shop, loot this. Now, because those swans they sponsored are now looting shops, right? Burning properties, burning violent. They are now blaming those of you who chooses not to, which is the majority of you. Eh? They are now blaming that on you. In a way to say, yeah. So the looters are angry that the people they sponsored are looting bag of rice. They are breaking into shops. And therefore, Nigeria is going to be look, Nigeria is going to look bad. These are the looters who have robbed from the shop owners. They have robbed from the workers. They have robbed from the retirees. They have worked, uh, robbed uh, the aged people. They have robbed the children, their future. They've robbed from the witches, wizard. They've robbed from those of you who probably are the gatekeeper of uh, heaven and all of that stuff, right? But Nigeria didn't die or Nigeria was not going to die until the people they sponsored to go and start stealing bag of rice in order to blame it on you. Do not fall for that. Too. So that is why the inconvenience, the inconvenience that uh, the ruling class, they, excuse me. so the inconvenience that the ruling class in Nigeria have uh, forced on you and they continue to talk down on you, right? is uh, what you have to pay back. And that's exactly what is going on now. Right now, eh? day five, when Tifnumbu made this uh, uh, foolish speech yesterday, they went to work, especially in Lagos. So they, they, they went to, you know, from one street to the other. They started sharing 5,000 5, naira, telling people that if Numbu has spoken now, the protest is over. Everybody go home. It actually worked on some people, no lie. But by midday today, those who even collected the 5,000 era, they joined the protest in Ojota. They opened a new frontier, uh, Alausa, in front of Sonwiku's office. Right? They opened another frontier in front of, uh, I mean, in front of the Lekito gates. Yeah. In other part of Nigeria, and rather than listen to Tifnumbu, they actually got more infuriated 
hungry. And yesterday was just like a relaxation day. Today, Tifnumbu's policemen, right, in Abuja, the Tifnumbu's uh, military, in Abuja, in uh, Plateau, in Kano, Kaduna, they were all having a field day, shooting at unarmed protesters until it turned violent. I've got loads of uh, interesting happenings from Nigeria today, but this is where we're going to start from. Remember this Russian flag, Russian flags that uh, just surfaced in the protest from yesterday, day four. So a young man is, has been arrested, has been responsible for making the flags to the point that it has attracted world attention, no doubt. Where everyone was like, ah, why is the Russian flag? A Russian flag, bow. Now, the Russian embassy in Nigeria has dis I mean, distanced uh, themselves from that, that. No, 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 we don't have anything to do with that. Mm. Maybe just some uh, Arewa North trying to imitate their cousins in Ninja, Mali, and Burkina Faso. So it has nothing to do with end bad governance in Nigeria protest. But it is indeed eh, significant to notice that the Arewa North, like I said yesterday, they are probably preparing, the younger ones, they are preparing themselves for uh, an eventuality once uh, all their elites and the rest of them goes down because they are likely going to go down with what is going on. The life of uh, the establishment in Nigeria, the survival of the elites of Nigeria, their future and everything, this oppression that they have been enjoying for so long, if this is going to be sustained, that lifeline is now being held by Sifnumbu. Now, if the people's power overpowered him and Sifnumbu have to bail on them, the entire establishment in Nigeria will never recover from what is going to hit them. The judges, so, the police, so, the military hierarchy, so, the rest of all these ranks, so, the traditional rulers, so, the, you know, the elite generally, from northern Nigeria to southern Nigeria, from the west to the east, the elite will never believe what is going to happen to them. So right now, they are all bonding and back in Tifnumbu, and this Tifnumbu is making some so much horrible decisions. So very soon, you are going to begin to see some of your noticeable or yeah, notable uh, personalities in Nigeria. They are going to begin to declare for the end bad governance protest in Nigeria. It is about to get a messy. I mean, Tefnubu is about to become lonely, very, very lonely. Even the Ronukus, they will not be enough to stop what is coming. But you know something? If you remove arrogance, if you remove this, you know, uh, overconfidence, I don't know, I don't even know if it's overconfidence or something, right? But arrogance, to, so to say, if you remove that from the equation, Tifnumbu has just one chance. Reverse the price of petroleum. Reverse the price of electricity. And begin the process of uh, withdrawing the 1999 constitution. They want electoral reform. They want Mahmoud arrested. They want Werewike sacked. Yes, the demands are going to become more messier soon. That if no, we will become lonely. Because the only thing they are thinking of right now is to use force. Tribalism seems to have failed. If you see any Abobaku crying anywhere right now, eh? About, eh? She, is it because he's a Saudana? Is it because he's a Yoruba? All this nonsense, they know they fly anymore. Because what is going on is that there is hunger in the land. And Tifnubu doesn't care. So your emotion won't do it. The, your, the bullet of the military they won't stop them. Have you seen, have you seen what happened today? Eh? Abi, you are still pretty much in your own little place there. That, eh, nothing. We are not joining them. Eh, we are not joining any protests. Coffee won't stop them. Military tank won't stop them. They will take over military tank. They will take over uh, police uh, trucks. They will take over government buildings. They will chase governors out of their government houses. People will run. But all that will stop all of that is what if... I'm saying this now 
so that you no go be like say, eh, she be now waiting you want. Are you happy? No, 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 no. That's none of your business. I'm offering a very simple solution. Tip number defrauded everyone. Fine. Now everyone has find, found out that it, it is a lie. Tip number is pure, is fake. Now take us back to where you brought us from. Eh? This floating of the Naira. Begin to back it and tell us what you're going to do about it in the next few weeks or few months. People want to see beyond just all the talks and stop giving free money to governors. He is still talking about giving 570 billion era to state governors. May they go share the money to the poor people. These worries are not connecting. That is why he called the military, the military meeting today, the, the service chiefs today. That's where we're going to start from. He called the service chief meeting today. He sent a minister from Taraba, an idiot from Taraba, who is a minister, that he should go and say it on national TV that Taraba people are not participating in the madness. The were is in Abuja two days ago. The protesters in Taraba, they had to drag out the governor. The governor himself had to come out of the government house to address them, plead with them, went back to the government house. So this were in APC, in Taraba, I mean, from Taraba, is making mouth. I love it. Let them continue to make mouth. Okay? Let them continue to say things that people like us will grab. And we can, well, we can what? We can escalate them. Here you get so you that hear them and you never really read any meaning to them, you begin to read meanings to them. You begin to get more angry because those are the miscreants. They are not paying attention. They won't pay attention. So the chief of defense staff that said they are on standby to kill Nigerians once Tifnubu gives them the order. It'd be like say Tifnubu don't give them the order. Okay? So according to him, uh, raising the flag of another country during protest in Nigeria it's a treasonable felony. So they will have to deal with that. Today is fifth day. Tomorrow is uh, the sixth day. Yeah, tomorrow is expected to be bloodier than today. And there is no other person to blame for everyone that anyone that is killed than Tifnumbu. So far, so far, so worse. Tifnumbu has killed 43 people, confirmed. In four days, I have not had those they've killed today. In Bangladesh, same thing happened. Where their president or prime minister, who also signed up onto this IMF nonsense, and the student of the country, not like the nuns of Nigeria, the voluntary slaves of Nigeria. The student of Bangladesh started a protest and said she should reverse some of these decisions. What happened after? The, prot the protesters started just quietly and started growing and growing. The establishment or the elite in Bangladesh, they called their bluff because they had the military. They had all the policemen. Guess what? They forgot that they are just politicians. And when they push come to shove, Abi na shove come to push. Eh? Politicians would have to run or die. And the military would have to what? Take over. So this woman had to run away from her country. See her, see her, see her face. Old and wicked, heartless people. I mean, it is what you have in Nigeria, isn't it? Like the call of Nigeria. So what happened? They are living large. They are living lavishly. They had the military to protect them so they could talk down on the civilians. After a few days of protest, and 93 or so people killed by the forces loyal to the politician in Bangladesh, that woman ran away. And the people of Bangladesh, they took over the Parliament, the government building, including the bedroom of that woman, the seat of power that she believed nobody could touch. Man, start from it. The meeting was to plan on how to kill Nigerians. And the military man who came out of that meeting has something to say. So I have these joint videos combined before we go to the main thing. So like the broadcast if you haven't already. Okay. So let's go there. Action and let those uh, thugs to pass. Oh, you trying to protest? Um, today's meeting is uh, uh, such that we wanted to come and update Mr. President about the situation on ground. Uh, we know since the riots have started, um, the 
role all the security agencies are playing. You can see all of us together. We had uh, about two hours meeting with Mr. President. We explained to him in details the current situation on ground since the riots have started. And what we realized is that, yes, initially people said it was um, a peaceful riot, but we have warned against it because we realized that there are individuals that are willing to take advantage of it to cause me, and we can see clearly what has happened since it has commenced. Criminals have taken over, a lot of looting, a lot of uh, stealing and all sorts happening. And besides that, I'm also aware, we're also aware that I'm seeing, all of us have seen it, where some uh, foreign flags have been flown within the sovereignty of Nigeria, and that is totally unacceptable. Uh, we are warning in, in clear terms, and the president has also said we should convey this, that we will not accept anybody, any individual flying any foreign flag in Nigeria. That is treasonable offense and it will be viewed and treated as such. So nobody should allow himself to be used by any individual. Also the issue of coups. Nigeria is a sovereign nation. Nigeria is a democratic nation. All security agencies are here to defend democracy and ensure that democracy continues to strive. We will not accept anyone pushing or taking any action, seemingly or for whatever reason, to want to push for any change of government. Democracy is what we stand for. Democracy is what we continue to defend. For those of them flying flags, if you see a lot of them are kids being pushed to do that. We are following up with those ones that are sponsoring them, those that are pushing them, because you know the flags were also made. We identified those areas and we're going to take serious action against that. The president is clear on his instructions on non, for us not to accept anyone that wants to disrupt the peace and tranquility of Nigeria. And we are all standing here together to show Nigerians that we're working closely, we're working together in synergy to ensure that there's peace and tranquility in Nigeria. That we have assured Mr. President. It's clear and the demands are genuine. None of us can deny the fact that there is no hunger and there is a general poverty in the land. This has been made worse by the harsh economic realities, a deficit policy direction and insensitivity of the national government to engage the citizens civilly. As leaders of the people, we must at all times not only listen but act. The lesson we must drive from the protest is the constant reminder that it, that it is not enough to tell the citizens we have had must be seen as doing the needful in providing solutions to citizens' concern. Some of the demands of the protesters, as genuine as they are, are microeconomic policies, issues that can only be addressed by the national government. This is the reality of our federal structure and constitution. We shall work with you to make sure that the demands are attended to. Taraba, I'm sure you know that Taraba uh, is uh, one of the states that did not participate in this uh, madness uh, called uh, uh, protest. We agree that citizens have the right to protest. When you refer yeah. to the protest yeah. as madness, I know a lot of people will take mm. exception to that, mm. particularly the peaceful protesters. No, 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 I didn't refer to the protesters as mad No, you said, no, the, said this madness called protest. Breaking... No, 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 no. Don't quote me out Those of were your context. words. For no. I meant All right. those no. who participated in violence destroyed... You wouldn't call those ones protesters. Those who went to steal people's... Break people's homes and jobs and businesses and government's uh, premises, stole uh, stuff there. But what you I'm said sure was, uh, Minister, what you those said that this madness arrived. called protest those were your words now that no, you are no, no. Uh, given I, an uh, I, I take that back and i apologize if it was understood in that uh, perspective tifnubu has given them the go ahead all right the minister of tifnubu said araba is not participating in this madness called protest and he quickly swallowed it i like that by the way you know everybody go collect have you when last did you hear from where we when last? I mean, it was, it was there on day one, remember? That they were going to arrest Ireti and all of that, Abby? And this is day five. When last did you hear from me? When last did you hear from uh, Apabi Ole? When? Igboro Tidaru. 
the only thing that will save them, and I know some of them are watching this broadcast, no doubt, because you know something, right? In the last few days, yes, I have noticed the surge. Yeah, the Adaura or the most stupid service, the criminal police, uh, what do you call it, Coven, the murderous terrorist military uh, caucus as well. They are more interested in who is saying what. I mean, have you heard about any Fulani attack in the last five days? Have you heard any Boko Haram attack in the last five days? We'll talk about that one later. Okay. I just want you to know that you see this protest, eh? The way it is going, the way they will handle it and then they blow it. Even Boko Haram knows say what this protest will lead to. A level of revolution it will lead to, it will eradicate Boko Haram, Fulani terrorists, and all those terrorists they are sponsoring. Because the moment these guys lose their power, all those terrorists, they will disappear. Write it down. Yeah, they will disappear. Because they know how their operation is going uninterrupted. Here you get. Ransom, kidnap people. Go to a village, kidnap like 200 people. Now nobody can, will make a call and say, ah, they don't kidnap 200 people. Come and rescue them. No, they will move them easily into the forest. Eh? They'll begin to talk to the families of the people they kidnapped, negotiating for ransom. So you still don't know that you are actually existing in a mafia, in a mafia country run by criminals. From the police, from your president to your local government chairman, you are, you are in a, this is, this is going to eventually cleanse all of that. And see, I am not raising my hope. I am telling you that if Tip Numbu and his gang continue to double down, shoot them, kill every one of them, jail them, yeah, yeah, yeah. that is all that it will take before the cookie will crumble and I will be here to broadcast it like this. So do you see that now? Eh? It is not in my hands. No be me. Go break up Nigeria. No be, not because I wish it. Not because I want it. Not because you don't want it. You see the actions of these criminals? I told you two days ago that they have put their hands on the self-destruct button. And they are toying with it like this. Something is telling them to press it. Press it. Press it. It is not only Tifnubu that will go down. It is not only APC that will go down. It is not, uh, you know, your royal institution will go down. Your judicial institution will go down. The entire establishment will crumble. You are going to go and start all over again. Show you constitution top of this course, Empire. Hmm? You are going to be a pro Yoruba nation soon. You are going to be a pro uh, national conversation that will determine if Yoruba still want to be part of this or not. You are going to campaign for that revolution. stone show, right? You are going to be part of it. You know something, right? The revolution is when it is going to happen, all right? It is not going to be about whether you are ready or you are not ready, whether you are told or you are not told. The moment these people press that self-destruct button, you will become a revolutionary or a sufayo that will die. Probably defending their oppressors. The whole thing lies with that guy that they are now that he believes that the military can help him, like they believed in Bangladesh. Today, the politicians in Bangladesh are gone. The remaining uh, military guys in there have taken over the government. Yes, you will be gone. The end goal is what people don't know, Abby. Yeah, even the military. You see that guy I said, look at their faces, right? Even they themselves, they will run. Or suddenly, quickly, like jump ship. Because that's easier for them. In the name of trying to calm everything, they can help us arrest Etifnumbu. We can start with that. Just saying. However, let's go to Nigeria. What happened all over the place today? After Tifnumbu's speech, they sponsored the thugs, the threats, the coffee, and all of that. Even the Kano state governor has told us that those who came to destroy properties in Kano, they were sponsored by APC, Gandola. 
Do you get that? We'll get to that part. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to Nigeria. How did the day five go across Nigeria? The first set of videos you're going to see is that of the Nigerian policemen shooting at protesters, chasing them. In Kasina, where Bokowari came from. In Kaduna, where Littlefinger came from. Eh? In Kano, where Gandola comes from. And all these places. We do not have uh, the exact number of uh, casualties so far, even in Abuja. But yeah, that bah, 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 is the first thing you're going to see in this video. Then we take it down, even to Lagos, to Borakot, to Akure in Ondo State, to Oyo State in Abadan, to Oshun, Oshubu, and everywhere. So you ready? Anywhere that tells you all right, what is still coming? I can tell you some of them because they are expected. Uh, this is day five. By day six, hmm, uh, the protesters will begin to take over some choice government revenue earners. For now, they've shut down the federal secretariat in Abuja. Majority of the staffs are now, they are now staying at home. Nobody is coming to any work in Abuja now, right? Now, a similar thing is going to happen to all the 36 states in Nigeria, but in sequence. You understand? Like, it's going to happen in sequence. The ports in Nigeria are going to be taken over by protesters very soon, okay? The airports are going to be taken care, I mean, taken over. They will take over the entire airport. There will be no plane going in, no plane leaving Nigeria, just so you know. Now, when it gets to that stage, the next stage after, because by then you'll probably be killing and killing because you think you could, when, I mean, this is when you are going to know that the entire military force of Nigeria, the entire policemen in Nigeria, give all of them guns, eh? They will not be able to control half of Nigeria for what is coming. And I'm saying this to all of you now that, you see, the moment you kill people up to 100, they are going to start killing the police and all of them too. It's going to be out of hand. Because the driving force of this protest is hunger. Hunger caused by uh, Tifnumbu's uh, policies that they are begging him to reverse. That's all it's going to take. Save everybody's time. Save everybody's life. And yeah, you can possibly still deceive Nigerians till 2027. Do you understand that now? If you are a security force watching me, right? You will not be able to protect Nigeria. You will not be able to, de sorry, you will not be able to defend these guys. You will be so out, you know, overstretched. This is going to be the first time in your life that you are going to really face a challenge as a security officer, not the ones that you have been facing all your lives. The challenge of uh, underpayment, poor training, poor payment, and all of that stuff. No, 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 no. This is the proper one you're going to face now. The criminal politicians are pushing you to the edge. A lot of you are ganging, I mean, you are grouping, you are jumping into the vans they are giving you. Eh? You know what's going to happen? Majority of the guns they are going to give you, majority of them are going to be taken over from you, from your officers. Some of your officers are hungry too. Do you know that? Yeah. And once some of these protesters who are defending themselves and attacking the, the people killing their friends, right, with sticks and stones, very soon they will be in control of guns. And the, everything is just going to go to Haiti. So you are watching me right now. And I do not wish any of this to happen. For real. If Numbu is putting his hand on self-destruct button, it will destruct, I mean, so it will destroy the entire thing you've known about Nigeria very soon. And they want to use you to do that. You see all these ones that you are spying on people on social media, eh? tracking people down and arresting them. Now, because say, the old thing never really eats, now half day you've seen so far, by tomorrow, by tomorrow. Ah. Hmm. Let's go to Nigeria again. Eh? From what happened today all over the country. And what, who said what? Uh, on the you cannot stop until you get what you want. Until you get everything that brought you outside in the first place. Ahmed, if you are watching, I hope I get lucky this evening that you're going to call in. I need you to help me speak to the northern, uh, our northern viewers, right? Uh, northerners uh, who are viewing from the north. 
I need somebody to help me speak directly to them and say, listen, you must never stop until you get everything that is in that demand. It's so important. So that people that, that these guys are shooting and killing, they will not die in vain. Again, I'm going to take us back again. Okay. Uh, let's go back uh, to the protest grounds across the country. This time, we should stop in Kano. Then from Kano, we can then go straight to a plateau that is in Jaws. Then maybe to Lagos, right? And to other places too. See, if this is your first time on Maya Goon's Diary Political, uh, and you do not want to miss anything at all about all these developments going on in Nigeria, well, I am the, you know, I'm the closest you can, you know, the closest you can get to the real news of what is going on in that place. So if you subscribe onto my channel, for example, set your notification, that means you actually believe that you don't want to miss anything. So do that. Now, let's go back to the protest ground around the country. Remember, this is after Tifnubu said everybody should go home, suspend. And the Nigerian policemen are moving mad, illiterates. They are now saying that protest is illegal because Tifnubu said they should go home. Like, what the heck? So they disobeyed him because it's, it doesn't even have the authority anyway. You get what I mean? Majority of Nigerians didn't vote for him. This guy bought that, rigged the election. They messed up the entire country. That's why you're seeing this. So after last, uh, I mean, after yesterday's uh, useless speech, this is how Nigerians responded. Let's go back. Kano. As well. I think I even have part of the video you are going to, if not this one, maybe next one, where uh, the people arrested by the Nigerian police across Nigeria are getting released. Yeah, the Nigerian, uh, sorry, the lawyer for protesters across nigeria if you ever get anywhere arrested or what have you you are not going to pay a dime you are not on your own okay if you by any means get injured in the process of all of this there are provisions for that they will take care of you without your family having to pay a dime right all you need to do is to make sure that as you are participating in any protest right make sure you are within that space so if anything is going to happen to you let it happen to you while you are within the space don't let anybody lure you out of the gathering. Don't tell, don't let, don't let some people create stampede that will just cut some of you off. Your mayor, the larger body. There are, there are, you know, there are kind of a process where, uh, you know, Nigerian security agents, they will walk inside the protest with all of you. And then they will just create something that, you know, a fraction of you will just begin to corner you to the side. And the rest may not even notice in time. And then they can just arrest you to go and torture you, especially. So make sure that you are within the larger group for every part, I mean, everywhere you are participating. Don't walk alone, okay? If you know you are, you are participating in a protest, be within that uh, fold. It's for your own safety. All that is that uh, you should try and uh, protect yourselves and defend yourselves. In this clip you're about to watch, we even had a space where about they took over the police truck in uh yeah police armored vehicle they don't see them i jack them for kaduna more population of people until they come out once that population don't reach one stage their body go tell them they go understand say no be shere, shere. Shere, shere. i mean we go reach there now we go reach there. No god will continue no Allah, no my ego. thank you so much okay? amen my ego. Have a good no day. Allah, my ego. That's a it's, a it's a treasure, like a special treasure for us here on this platform. It could, it's like, you know, two-edged uh, two uh, sword or two-edged sword, kind of. Here is another collado. Yeah. Hello. Did I get you? Oh, I'm so sorry, right? People suffer from this a lot where you, you manage to get through only for the network. So denying you like you just get here hanging there and it says connecting connecting let's hope this works um hello there hello hello sir how are you baba maya baba maya good, good, good evening good from evening. here good evening to you sir how are you doing how are you doing i'm very well i'm doing well i'm doing well and yourself well very well as well thank you very much for asking sir 
How, how is your family and your kids? We thank God for everything. All right. Thanks a lot. We thank God. Yes, sir. My name is John. My name is John. Is a calling from Boston. John from Boston. Yeah, I love yes, this. Sir. You are becoming regular, sir. So here we are again. Yes, I, will, mm -hmm. I will bless you as usual. Papa Thank you. Sir? It, it shall be well with you. He say, May the Lord bless you and strengthen you. He say, This message you are giving to us, may the good Lord give you long life and empower you he and say, give you more knowledge to deal say, with it. In the name of Tupu Kigabiyama. He say, he say, he say. Thank I will you. go straight, fast, fast. Please, so that I will not Jonah. waste time because a lot of people will be calling. Trust now, me. Mm -hmm. I will give you one thing. Yes, sir. What happened in Bangladesh today? Hmm. This woman had been in power for 15 years. Yes. He ruled life of Bangladesh citizens. Hmm. But when the people rise up, stood up and say, enough is enough. Hmm. They ate today in her, her palace, her, her own building. They ate today. They scatter. They destroy everything. And the soldiers of Bangladesh was begging them, please, is enough. Please, is enough. Please, is enough. You see, when things oh. is going to happen, there will be an, a prophecy hmm. given to you to give you a warning that didn't we give you a notice? Deaf ear. Deaf ear. And that's what power does. He will be, power makes them feel like he, they are God. You know? He, he will be in the history that him will destroy Nigeria. And is a clues. I am talking about clues. But my encouragement to um, the Northern Brothers, so, because the hardship is too much. Honestly. <laughs> Nuwa yaka sheshifa. Chiga bada aikinka. Baka, baka duba akasa. Ama duba akasa. Aga agi abu muta ni yaje. Ah, baka jia uri. Zeka mutufa. Baka jia uri. Kiza. Kajeka kara parait. Tinka. Kaini right nai. Barait tunububa. Barait wike bafa. Barait apabiofa. Right tinka kena saa doka shi. Kajika do kara itishi fa na gia moko kachiga bada aikinka alla ina koreka alla na gia moko kache kachiga ba kado ka ai kado ka raitinka sinin raiti ai baraiti baraiti government ba na gesheka chiga bada aiki alla ka alla ba musa alla kara azikinka alla ka kara azikinka alla kara azikinka alla kara azikinka alla ba musa fa. My message to the um, um, rivers people, mm. we have been suffering enough. Yeah. Let this protest ginger people. Let this peaceful protest ginger us. It's like what you show today in your um, afternoon program about Redeem church or whatever church look at which um which which multitude of people that could have threw into a so rock you know, peacefully they no, no, are no, doing no, no, different things peacefully nobody would take them for like for granted but i'm believing that my own encouragement to everybody southwest is not hmm. let this be an is something that we are doing to pre preserve our children, our great grandchildren, our great grandchildren to come. Our parents did not be able to um, fight it to this end, but I, I'm supporting them. I'm praying for them. Thank you, Johnny. Everything that's been lost will be recovered. They should not back down. Mm -hmm. 
this opportunity is opportunity that come from God. Mm. One more thing. It must not be it must Nandekalo. not be Nandekalo. Mm. Nandekalo is there. Imagine Nandekalo is there praying. No one knows what he's facing. But I believe that Almighty God will grant that man Amen. a successful trip in the name say, of Chiku Kabiama. He said, he said, you have say, a wonderful Jonah. day. Thank and you. keep on your good work. I May will. the Lord bless you. Bye. Have a good one on YouTube. Okay. Thanks so much, sir. That's a journey from Boston, by the way. Um, so I have another caller. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hello there. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. My ye baba. Ah, you room all there. My ye baba. You room all there. Babo. How are you, sir? No, baby, I'm not going to be here. I'm not going to be here. Yeah. I'm not going to be here. 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 Right. I tell you now, the other time I call in, I say, say I just go collect Sky. And because now. your daughter here now, Sky, she, they use it. Ah, even that you'll be listening to, you'll be disturbing. You'll be trying, trying. Go and take Sky. How much is it? I'm going to tell you about contrast Sky. Money phone to Mole. You see? So, good evening, my good brother. Good evening, sir. Uh, day five, oh. Day five is done and dusted. I take care of my, my children. Baba, they are fine. Oh, thanks so much. No, say first, I will first ask to follow up them because uh, I must appreciate and be careful because no day is it. I know. Coming out in the afternoon, in the night, with the family, you know, days, Baba. I know. Uh, I don't know how you Thank do you. it, please. I won't lie to you, but God is your strength. Oh, well, uh, I, to me, I'm still here, you know. No, say, I really Baba, complain. I'm speaking in Yoruba, I'm speaking. Pigeon English, we all of us go understand. Go for but, it. But we don't tell them. Say Nigeria and a time bomb. Hmm. Hmm? I don't, don't give them example several times on this platform. You know those knockouts who with the blue, one with the small. Yep. With the day red, with the gay rope. No, no, so when you spark matches, you light up. The rope go the bone, small, small. So now the thing don't explode. Hmm. There is nothing they can do about it. My, this is no protest again. This is pure revolution. It's building, Baba. It's Anyone, building. I'm telling you, this is revolution. Nothing. And to all those, uh, Sammy Ogden 2K, my Southwest, my Yoruba people, may I be Yoruba man, no? I mm. talk, I know they had a big confirmed a man. You understand me? A big confirmed a man from my So I know they hide my identity. Mm. When I stand for yes, those who are not going to you back, don't power my column, don't support you. Don't so, so. Ah, Baba, if we go check out our history, ah, I should read your town people in one now. Why then, Baba, why, 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 Check it out. I'm going to let you back. I'm going to let you back. But when I listen to uh, Farouk Timmy, yeah. um, Brokers the other time, Baba, I nearly the shared tears. When mm. that man, they analyze, they why on a day because of Tinubu, one person? Yeah. You, my, my Yoruba brothers, they gaslight the evil. So, this people do you on that? If we say, make we check out, Baba, I don't talk on before on this program. Me, when I this small, my father I go hand over me. Mm. Eh? To one Ibu, my name now Emika Okoye is from Mukbo village. I know in village very well for Newi. I go learn spare parts for a hand. Now in flat at the state. Now through him, I take become everything I become. If they live from my father area there. Now the kind of relationship we will get with the Ibu will be that. But this people they just come because of the power where they want, because of the evil mind where they engage, just the projectors as and if now. they will not be the kind of culture, the kind of robot people where me I grew up to know. 
Because in the history of Yoruba, we never get issue with Igbo people before. Nothing like that. Until when these people normal. come with all this their rubbish, all this their nonsense, evil attitude. You know. The only people where I believe say with, 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 they, then they get issue with sometimes. Now, from my granny era, maybe I could get side and uh, you back to Usanja, you understand me? Or all this uh, Idiaraba side, yeah. you understand me? But I never heard Yaram before. Say, we are Nibu people. It's all for politics. And now these people, now then, now then still they make most of the Nigerian economy still they stand. Go everywhere. Now then dominates everywhere. You understand me? Most well, of our Yoruba that's, that's people, the reason why the do... lazy Ronukus who are looking forward to become homeowners after selling their family land, right? So they are looking forward to become homeowners without building a house. That is, if they can let the Igbos go. Fucking bastards! I'm mm -hmm. telling you, um, um, like that, that, no, that's you have to know. We just have to remind them. Okay? We know the Omwalis um, in just... Yoruba. This ones, though, they are the Omwalis um, Yoruba land. Okay, they don't give a damn about themselves. They don't give a damn about Yoruba land. They don't give a damn about the Yoruba people. All they care about is that of a APC and Tifnumbu. Everything else is secondary, and that can be the real Yorubas. I want more, lady. But and they are fizzling out a little by little. Sure, you get. To my Nigerians, yeah, they go face them. And to my Nigerians, uh, people in the north side, the Zanga Zanga, mm -hmm. I beg, make on a put more fire. <laughs> make everything for for you. Everybody. Burn it. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, they, they've killed a lot of them, you. you know? But, but, uh, and, and Thank you so much for sticking to this video to the end. Like I said before, now it's time for us to go to the comment section to air our mind and our opinion. Say what you think about this video and this platform. Do it constructively. Share this video. Like, subscribe, and also continue to watch Linda's TV show because this is the home of news. Until I see you again in my next video. Remain blessed. For now, I would say bye-bye.